Germany's biggest airports are on alert after four suspected terrorists were spotted staking out Stuttgart Airport, reports say. Police are said to be hunting for a son and father from North, Rhine Westphalia and two others seen taking photos of the airport's terminal and grounds. Details of the suspects were passed to German police by Morocco Secret Service, reports say. This comes a week after a terror attack across the border in France. Three people were killed by a sheriff jacket near a Christmas market in Strasbourg, which is some 150 km, 93 miles, from Stuttgart. Police told public broadcaster Art that security forces were on alert at German airports, while build website said warnings had been extended to all 40 major hubs since the Strasbourg attack. Suspicious activity had been spotted at both Stuttgart Airport and at Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris. Public broadcaster Sir reported the father and son were captured on surveillance cameras, taking photos around the airport, but had disappeared by the time police arrived. The Stuttgart Airport suspects, names as the last details of their communications were reportedly given to police by intelligence officials in Morocco. German police would not confirm the reports, with spokesman Roman Strohmeyer saying only, we have information that, for the moment, cannot yet be judged conclusively. But, he told Bild website, we have detected a spying attempt to set Stuttgart. Airport and have massively tightened our security measures at the airport in cooperation with the state police. Germany was targeted just before Christmas in 2016, when Tunisian jihadist Tonis Emery plowed a lorry into a Christmas market in Berlin, killing 12 people and leaving dozens more wounded. The United States military says it has killed 62 fighters from the Islamist group Al-Shabaab being six airstrikes in Somalia. Four airstrikes on Saturday killed 32 militants, and a further two on Sunday killed 28, it said in a statement. This were the deadliest air attacks in Somalia since November 2017, when the United States said it had killed 100 militants. Somalia has seen a sharp increase in the number of their strikes and casualties since President Donald Trump took office in the United States in January 2017. A tally by the Bureau of Investigative Journalism reveals that at least 400 people have been killed in airstrikes. Since the beginning of 2017, far more than the previous 10 years combined, the latest strikes bring to at least 40 the number carried out in Somalia so far this year, compared with 35 recorded in 2017. The United States has a huge military base in neighboring Djibouti, from where it launches attacks on the militants. Mr. Trump gave the United States military greater authority in March 2017 to attack militants in Somalia. Traditionally, United States presidents have been wary of intervening in Somalia since 18 special forces soldiers died fighting militias in the capital Mogadishu in 1993. A battle dramatized in the film Black Hawk Down. No civilians were killed in the latest airstrikes, which were carried out in coordination with the Somali government. The United States military said, alongside our Somali and international partners, we are committed to preventing Al Shabaab from taking advantage of safe havens from which they can build capacity and attack the people of Somali. The United States Africa Command said, Al Shabaab, which is linked to Al Qaeda, has not yet commented on the latest strikes. Somalia based security think tank the Higher Al Institute said in a report published in November that Al Shabaab had been forced to change tactics following the upsurge in airstrikes.
The institute said the group was not conducting fewer mass attacks on military bases, but attacks on government offices and businesses which refused to pay. Its taxes had increased markedly. The United States State Department, in its most recent report on terrorism, described Somalia as a terrorist safe haven and said Al Shabaab remained a threat despite suffering setbacks. The group retained control over large parts of the country and the ability to carry out high-profile attacks using suicide bombers, explosive devices, mortars, and small arms. The report added, "To Scandinavian women tourists have been found dead in Morocco with cuts to their necks." The country's interior ministry said. Both bodies were found near the town of Imleo in the High Atlas mountain range, near the foot of North Africa's highest peak, Mount Tepco. The women, from Denmark and Norway respectively, have not yet been named. A police investigation has been launched into their deaths. The Interior Ministry statement said, "Two Scandinavian women tourists have been found dead in Morocco." With cuts to their necks, the country's interior ministry said both bodies were found near the town of Imleo in the High Atlas mountain range, near the foot of North Africa's highest peak, Mount Tepco. The women, from Denmark and Norway respectively, have not yet been named. A police investigation has been launched into their deaths. The interior ministry statement said. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Huawei's chief finance officer Meng Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shenyang Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan Province said it would waive the $9.465 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Meng, who was given bail in Canada. Faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has upped tensions with China. Use Huawei phones. Shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shenyang Park's social media account said, "We wish friends around the world who support Huawei's success and bliss." The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported. But it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are way full owners are being offered other enticements too. We can get a 20% discount at a bar in Beijing. Seen in Beijing, bring a who are way full and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday. Https. T. Qxl19ypqlpic Twitter Comsoglov End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpad Shenzhen, based lead and display manufacturer, offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors allege Ms. Man, 46, used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on Iran between 2000 and May and 2014. They also allege she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Ms. Man. Who is the daughter of Hu Awei's founder? Has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Hu Awei's high-flying heiress. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecom giant, the world's second-largest smartphone maker, since 2016, believing that it used Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and. Millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Ms. Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing 
China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive since her arrest. Two Canadians, a former diplomat and a businessman, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the United States Justice Department's case against this man if it would serve national security interests. I'll help achieve a trade deal with China if I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made, which is a very important thing. What's good for national security? I would certainly intervene if I thought it was necessary," he told Reuters news agency. Canada reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation.